I started out by deciding the dimensions of the cabinet and then moving into SketchUp to decide the hole spacings for the tubes. I could then import those vectors into Vectric VCar Pro and create a few more shapes to make up the two sides, top and bottom, and on another sheet was the back piece. I then added a simple text engraving of the client's name and we are ready to head to the CNC machine. I load up the first of two sheets of half inch MDF for this project. We are going to paint this cabinet white and the MDF paints beautifully. I need to swap out my 3 8 inch drill that I used to make my router CNC bit storage trays for my 60 degree V bit to do the engraving. Whenever we swap bits we need to recalibrate and measure the tool stick out. This particular ShopBot unit has an auto tool touch off plate that makes this process extremely easy and convenient. Simply call up the program and hint enter and the machine touches the tool off to the plate. In VCarve Pro we set our Z0 to our spoil board so we can use the Z0 touch plate to zero the bit. With an auto tool changer the software automatically calculates the difference between all the bits so they are zeroed at the same height. Time to turn on the vacuum table, switch the main valve on and watch the material get sucked to the table. I load the program, hit cycle start, and let the CNC do all the work. I have production speeds and feeds set for this machine. The 3 8 inch compression bit that is doing the profile work is cutting at 500 inches per minute. That is extremely fast and very efficient. The assembly and painting of this project took way longer than it took the time to design and actually cut out the parts on the CNC machine. I put the circles on a separate tool path as I wanted to use an onion skin technique to prevent any possible breakaway issues. This technique is where you leave 5 thousandths of an inch up to 16th of an inch left on the first pass and then come back and finish up that thin skin of material. This thin skin is way less radial cutting force than the initial cut was taken. This helps prevent small parts from moving as the vacuum force is much less. With the 60 degree V-bit installed, it is time for some engraving. I made a mistake here and didn't complete this in a single pass, so it did everything in two passes, which caused it to be even longer of an operation. With a 5 horsepower spindle, this machine has plenty of ponies to get the job done in a single pass. That is a cam error on my part. With the CNC cutting complete, I remove the scrap circles and use my Rockler Dust Right Vacuum Attachment to vacuum the kerf. I then remove the parts and then vacuum the table clean to load the next sheet. The engraving turned out very nice, but for this subtle detail, I could have easily made it less deep to make painting easier. Live and learn, I guess. CNC gives a shop an accuracy it has never seen before, repeatability that a human could only dream of, but most importantly efficiency. Here is a prime example of how efficient a CNC can be. Here I am assembling the first cabinet while the second cabinet is being cut out on the CNC machine. For this particular job, the cutting time is a fraction of the time the entire job takes, but this concept on a larger job like a kitchen is a huge time savings. With the cabinets and the clamps, I can focus on the tubes where the plans will be stored. I ordered 4 inch shipping tubes from Uline and cut them to size at the miter saw. I then painted them white to match the cabinet. I debated whether to paint them black or white and thought trying to blend them would look nicer. Let me know in the comments what you would think if you were to paint them black or white or what look you would prefer. I gave the insides and the rim of the tubes a couple coats of paint and then the entire cabinet. Once everything was dried I slipped the tubes into their holes and then capped the back end with the shipping caps that came with them. All in all the cabinet turned out very nice and with the help of the CNC the construction was a breeze. I put a couple felt squares on the bottom and slid the cabinets into position. The client was very happy and I was very pleased with the results. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. And if you are not a subscriber already, I highly encourage you to be one. And hit that bell so you get notified of my next upload. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching.